We moved into our new villa a few days ago, got a fucking pool table. So I think I might as well put it to use and practice a little bit. Mm -hmm. We actually used it the other day. Yeah, we did. Let's see what we got. We had some boys over. Check out the skills. You're, that's the wrong end of the Woo! thing. Nice. Uh, yeah, that was not so good. Anyway, that's pointless. The point of the video is we want to talk about how to ethically steal your customers and how to ethically steal your competitors' customers. And maybe that doesn't really make sense. Something along those lines makes something sense. Something like that. It's a really good clickbait title, so I gotta say in the video. No, but that is what we're actually. But it's really real too. It's not just oh, bullshit. Oh, it's super real. Um, uh, so I'd rather go to the computer and talk wait, about first, it there. First, first, I'm, I'm gonna do a little. Look, look at this. Woo! Oh yeah. Okay. Let's go over here. This is the workstation right here. You, get, you can see the laptop set up. That's where we get. That's the, most, That's not for bathing in. This is the, <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. You, you put fish and turtles in there. You sense. bathe in okay. there. Fine. Right. Yeah. Let's go to the computer and talk about what this video is actually about. Do some trick. That was okay. I guess do it okay. again. Just okay. do it again. We'll use that. Okay. All right. Wait. What was I gonna say? Oh no. Uh. Oh, we. No, we're not. Oh, screen share mode. Activated. activated. We did not plan exactly wow. at the same time. We're we just actually are, are fucking we twins? Played we're twins. At the same you time, would think bro. we're twins. All right, this is a fucking video. We're not twins. <laughs> we're not twins. It's all a scam. Yeah. Anyway, he's my, he's my okay. So, camera set up there. The camera putting up here like this, looking down at us, made triggered something. I wanted to say real quick. It's not important to the video, but I just want to say it, it doesn't. It's, it has nothing not, to do with online business it's, at all. It's, and there's not. It's not valuable. But I'm gonna say it anyway. <laughs> so. Over the past few weeks, we've been traveling. We've met up with like, I'm gonna say 20. 20 might be a stretch. Uh, I was gonna say more like 10. <laughs> 10. More like 10. Bro. Okay, okay. All right, okay, okay. 10 different people, as in subscribers. Um, people that have seen us on video before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. What was that? Uh, people in publishing, shit like that. So I would say subscribers. And. Every single person, or 95% of people, say the exact same thing. It's they the same th every time. So, the first so, thing they say so when let's bust it. the myth right now. Yeah. Everyone says, you guys are way taller in person. Yeah. And I think it has to do with, they said the video, the angle of our videos and the camera makes us look, sh look short. So, well, our camera tall. angle like this is supposed to make you look short. Right, because you're looking down on, at yeah. us. So, so I guess life, I look scrunched or something? But in real, no, like they would look down on a short person. Oh, like that. So in real life, oh, we're fucking... actually tall. I'm 6'1", Razzos is 6'2". He's literally an inch taller than me. Yeah. Fucking weird. It's, oh, which reminds me, when we met Mike Vestile, we met Mike Vestile last week. He said the exact same the thing. Person, he's like, he was like, dude, you guys are way taller in person. Yeah, so he's I tall. I thought you guys were going to be shrimps. Yeah, he said, he, he's uh, tall and we're taller than him. Yeah. So... Uh, Mike's, no, Mike's awesome. He He's looked, really funny. We had a good time. Definitely be seeing him more. He pointed out, and then and then 30 seconds later, after I was like, I still can't believe how tall you guys are. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's yep. get into the video of how you can ethically steal your competitors' customers. I think I said that right. First of all, <laughs> can we look at the home screen right now on Audible? Here's something that I noticed. So this is just a valuable nugget that's unrelated to audiobooks, but just it's, it's related. Not it's, related, not related. To, it's related to getting attention. It's not related at all. You relate this shit to your covers, it's, right? I, we say it in the course. What you see right now on the screen, this advertisement, is the last thing. Your oh shit! Has been our our oh, computer always does that. It always does that. What you see right now, this advertisement with the purple and the stripes and all that, is the last thing you would ever, ex or the last kind of design you would ever expect to see on Amazon, Audible. Like purple right in your face. Mm -hmm. Normally it's just white with some yeah. black and a little bit of. Orange. So I looked at this. I this is what I came up with when I went on Audible. I was like, I was like, what the fuck? They Am I on Audible.com? Yeah. Is this? And then yeah. And then it just made me read the fucking title. I just read the advertisement. They want from start to finish. They want to make sure that you read it. Mm -hmm. So they made it really different and stand out. It just grabbed my attention it's such like a, big a motherfucker. It's such and a that big reminds sale. me, I want to make the. Let, we should test on this video. Also, also, can I say something? What? We talk way too much. I just want to say I want to test on this video. I want to make a thumbnail that looks like this, and okay. see how it performs. Should it be the thumbnail to this video? Yes. Thumbnail just of this video. Purple diagonal they'll stripes. Be like, they'll be like, what the fuck? But then they'll so realize. Not our, so, so purple diagonal stripes with a purple rectangle in the middle, and it just says the title. Yeah. Not our faces. No. Okay. They'll, they'll be like, what the fuck? And then when they get to this point, they realize, like, oh, so that's oh. why it's such a really weird. So title. if you notice it, thumbnail. like the video. We <laughs> suck at fucking plugging. We need a plug. Like the video. Like the video. If you, noti if you notice, that's a weird thumbnail. They won't make a thumbnail yeah. like that. Like and then the you're video. now realizing why we made. Either a thumbnail way, just like the video. Because when we don't plug a like, it gets 
some likes. When we do plug a like, it like doubles. Yeah, people need to be told. Although, who gives a fuck about likes? Why does it matter? I don't know. It's just a fucking dick measuring contest. Yeah. What? (laughs) Just kidding. Let's actually get into the video. We're wasting everyone's time. Fuck. So, this is what you're going to do. I was recently doing keyword research the other day for our next massive order, which was going to be bigger than our first order. So, I actually did the calculation. I was like... This is over ten thousand dollar order. Mm. I was like, Ooh. I don't really want to do that right <laughs> yeah. now. That's good. We're already point. overloaded, but yeah. So we haven't placed the order yet, but we're getting ready. We did place a three thousand screenshot to prove it that we placed a three thousand something dollar order with Urban Riders. Wink, wink. Urban Riders, not your solutions. Okay, right, into this video. So let's say you have your fire keyword. You have your fire keyword. This is not going to show you how to find good keywords. Okay? Yeah, you got to have the you keyword. Ha- you have the place. keyword. And then That's why you need to know who your competitors are. Yeah, right. right. Steal your competitors' customers. Right. So really what it comes down to, this technique is going to show you how with the right keyword, you have the keyword, show you how to make the perfect audiobook with that keyword. Like I was using this trick when I was doing my keyword research. So let's just say we always use keto. Let's not use keto. Let's use something else. Let's just use... Let's use some self-help thing. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Can we use? Come on. Let me out here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm literally trying to do. Ah. It. Like I want to say a good keyword that isn't like. But not too good. Not too good. Not too good. Trying to find the balance. Cause that's mine. Yoga. yoga. We'll do yoga. Okay. Yoga. Okay. Okay. So okay. I'm. A, so let's say I know a fire keyword is yoga. This one, yoga is meh. You can make money with it, but I wouldn't make a yoga book. So this is what you do. You type in yoga. You know you want to make a yoga book, but like okay. How do I go about it? One, yeah. you get the course, but this is another thing you could add into yeah. it. You type in yoga, it's sorted by relevance automatically. Oh, th- this is stupid simple, what we're about to show you guys. It's stupid simple. Let's show them what but it is. But it's stupid though. effective. Yeah. So you go to best selling. Okay, so the first thing I need to say is ignore anything that isn't self published. This only properly works for self published. Like, first one, autobiography of a yogi. First of all, this book makes stupid amounts of money. Mm-hmm. Uh, ignore it. Ignore everything that's self-published. Mm-hmm. That's okay. not self-published. That's not self-published. I'm sorry. And only self-published. So yoga. Then the question gets asked, how do I know if a book is self-published or not? You get, we'll talk about it in the course. Or yeah. That could be a whole video itself. I, I know. know that. We, we, okay. we can't get into all that. Right. So I'm looking. No self-published ones yet. No. Boom. No. Ding-a-ling. Ding-a-ling. Self-published. Where? Right there. This? Yeah. You think this is? Yeah, I definitely think that is. No, it's not. You don't think so? Hell no. Okay. No, no. Move along. Move along. <laughs> so, yoga's not, yoga's not the best example for self-published yeah. books. And I'm sure my best selling. Okay, so here is the first one that looks self-published. That's absolutely, uh, 100% That's self-published. definitely self-published. 100%. Okay, so. Can we use Oh my god, I just realized. What? Why is everything discounted? Because Black Regular? Friday. Is this, this is Black Friday thing? Yeah, probably. Oh, I, or it's because we're logged in. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought Five, so we had three extra All right, let's use a different one than yoga because yeah. it's not working very well. Okay. What about... I'm gonna, okay. I'm so going to... Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to use... I'm going to use... Okay. Forex trading. Forex okay. trading. Just use Forex Fo- trading. Forex trading. Search it. Here's the relevance one. And then search by best selling. So this first one, not self-published. This next one is self-published. Okay. The fact that this, uh, this is like the whole video wrapped up in one sentence. This is a Forex trading book this that is sells like a motherfucker. Therefore, just do what they're doing. This is your gold standard. That's how you're going to be stealing their customers is by doing what the fuck they're doing. I'm so not what, what you did is you went into the keyword. You found the most successful competitors in your keyword because mm-hmm. you can sort by best selling this is a super epic tool we talk about it more in the course how to hack with it like th- this cover i would never use this cover no but clearly it fucking works and that's all that matters and it's probably because my opinion doesn't matter sorry about that all that matters is that these books get sales and this one does like end of story and it's a bundle so and it's a bundle that's part of why. which is why it's so epic obviously yeah. yeah so it's probably because they could see there's five in one so like you're Mm-hmm. Spamming in their face, value, mm-hmm. bundle, mm-hmm. more for your money because mm-hmm. it only costs one credit. Mm-hmm. So here, and then the next one is also some sort of bundle. So bundles are always going to be at the top of your when you sort by best selling. Next one's also a bundle. So these are bundles six, are lit fam. Like these are 
Let's put the picture up. Finally, we've ah, been waiting. Yes. We've been waiting. Yeah, remember we had a contest like a Months few months ago. ago. Whoever could guess the price of the rental car in Denmark or get closest got this free bundles on lip fam shirt. T-shirt. And fucking see that again. See that again. See you. <laughs> see that again. He won. Yeah. Back to the video. So these are the most successful forex trading audiobooks on Audible. So you see, you look here. What are they doing? They got forex trading. They're showing it's five and one. And then they're getting all these other keywords, beginner's guide. Whether these are the best or not, I don't know, but it's working for them. It's Crash course. Work, right, that's really all that matters. I think that's the point of this video, is that whether you think it works or not, it, this is working. Look at these, see this one's getting a lot of uh, keywords in there. Day trading strategies, forex for beginners, advanced, options, options trading for advanced traders. Uh, so basically what you're doing is, I've already said it. So, well, damn, there's a lot by the same guy. Oh, that reminds me. I'm not gonna say it though. Mm -hmm. So, let's use a different one as an example as well. Let's use keto. This is a good example though. Yeah. Keto. Yeah. No, we can't let everyone know keto diet is a good keyword. Everyone is that sarcastic? Yeah. Because okay. you just said you don't want to use keto. Right. But let's go into keto, and you just sort by best selling. Now, this is gonna show you how a good keto audiobook looks. So you know keto is good. You want to structure your audiobook around the ones that are proof to be working. So ignore the ones that aren't self-published. One, two, three, four. Here's the first self-published one. What's so funny? <laughs> uh, uh, that's not funny. <laughs> okay, so here, ketogenic guide, the ultimate beginner's guide to a perfect keto diet. That's working. I hope, oh. Oops, that's not our book. That's us. <laughs> Who cares if they they know we have keto books? Okay, so <laughs> it is under the best selling. Yeah. Uh, so I hope this video was helpful. The, right. You gotta say one more comment. Okay. Okay. You gotta say, okay. You gotta say one more comment. You're okay. How about, how about, you're welcome for the helpful video. You're welcome for it. Uh, <laughs> I hope this was helpful. No, this absolutely was helpful. Yeah, you're 100%. right. So use the best selling tool. Mm. All right. Let's end this video. All right. Thanks for watching. Lots more videos coming. Our next for the next six months, our video, all our videos are gonna be in our Bali mansion, yeah. and we're gonna call it Bali mansion because we're gonna call Bali. it what it is. It is what it is. It's five bedrooms, five baths. It's fucking huge. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. On to the uh, music that everyone loves. Okay. Bye. Right. <laughs> oh boy. Well, we'll see. Oh boy.